Hey, welcome to Scribble Practice. Today we're gonna do some scribbling with watercolor. Yay! I just taped down a piece of watercolor paper on a movable, it's a board, this is a board, but you could use a piece of cardboard or a plate or anything. Anything that you can just tape a piece of watercolor paper down onto and still be able to move it. Yesterday I did a fun little play where I added um, watercolor from a tube onto dry paper. And today I wanted to try adding watercolor from a tube onto wet paper and see how that changes things. And yeah, just play an experiment. So you can see that my tape job is not precious. There's exposed pieces. It's not something I'm really worried about. I'm just playing around. So um, there's lots, there's colors all over the back of this. It's a scrap piece of paper. So I'm just gonna casually wet down this paper. I don't really have any technique or anything. I'm just wetting it. And then I'm gonna place some, you know, yesterday I did it this way. I think today I might try it this way. Let's see, make sure you can still see it. Here we go. Okay, going to just dab some colors on to this wet paper. And I might not have as many colors today. I've been talking about these core paints in other videos and so you can see just like how quickly they spread. I don't know, I think they're amazing. They just make these little spurts everywhere. I'm just using sort of the same colors I had out from yesterday. And I didn't really like, uh, okay, I'll do this one. See what happens. Did I already put that on? Yes. Okay, this one didn't work very well, so I'm gonna skip it. take some water on a brush. I'm using a bit of a smaller brush this time. Let's see. You know, in my head, I'm kind of wanting it to spread more. I'm wanting it to be wider. That's not happening and I'm wondering how I make that happen. <laughs> but this is the thing with, I just have to make sure, I just have to move the water out. But um, this is the thing with watercolor and one of the things that I love so much about it is that it's it's got a mind of its own. So even when you're, you think you can control it, I mean, there are, pros out there who can really control it, but that, I am not one of those pros. I am just playing. That's looking really interesting and actually I want to just add some gold. Let's see if I can find my favorite gold. There it is. This is the 
pour iridescent gold and it is my favorite. And here is where I want it to go. So let's try, let's see what happens. exactly what I was thinking but still fun kind of had it in mind it would like look like sort of a gold streak like gold in a rock kind of thing didn't turn out that way but that's all good maybe if I had let it dry first and then put the gold on maybe that would have been a better uh, an interesting idea as well anyway that is the wet with the dry paint on it. So fun. Let me know which one you preferred. Did you prefer doing it with the wet or did you prefer doing it with dry paper? I'm always curious. If you'd like to support the creative work I share, I'd be so grateful. So grateful that I'll actually send you a hand-painted postcard with some gratitude messages on the back. You can look in the description box to below and there is a link there for that. Otherwise, if you'd like to keep creating, there's another activity here and I will see you tomorrow.